Hello there, thank you so much for joining in on this podcast and I really hope you're doing great. So on August 1st, Colombia's Vice President Francia Marquez announced that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had accepted her invitation to the South American country. They will travel to Bogota, Cartagena and Cali. And the vice president also said that she was very pleased that the tour could be arranged and she's clearly planning to use Harry and Meghan to highlight the positive stories within Colombia and bring inter- international attention to the country. And that is exactly what Nigerian did too. The Nigerian tour was coordinated through the government and military with a focus on Invictus Games, veterans, education, um, women's rights and a celebration of the Nigerian culture and see how it benefited Nigeria because there was a huge media coverage of the Nigerian tour. And well, much like the Nigerian tour, the British media is currently melting down because Harry and Meghan are going to Colombia saying that it is a dangerous country and whining about why won't they come to the UK. It's actually pretty pathetic to see. Well, I believe Harry and Meghan only travel to countries where they, where they are treated as high value VIPs and given government security at that level. And Nigeria did that, and I'm pretty sure that Colombia is also going to do that, as they will be given the same level of of protection as uh, the vice president of Colombia. So I have no doubt about their security. Well, let's talk about the UK because these people have gone into um, a complete meltdown. The UK compared to Colombia is not a safe place for Harry and Meghan. They don't have security in that country. So many people have been convicted because of threatening the lives of Harry, Meghan and Archie. So does that speak a safe country to you? Also, the UK media uh, is well known for harassing the Sussexes, but I'm pretty sure that is not the case for the Colombian press, just like the Nigerian press. You didn't see them harassing Harry and Meghan. Everybody was just so friendly uh, over there in Nigeria. So everything about the UK is just a no according to me. And I would prefer for the Sussexes to go any other place but not the UK. And it's driving the UK media crazy. Multiple articles have been written about uh, Harry and Meghan's trip to Colombia. And it's just the UK media crying about this. Cameron Walker wrote an article for GB News uh, saying the same. And also the Daily Mail wrote another article. And it seems like they were believing that the Sussexes should not receive any kind of security unless it's authorized by Charles and Camilla. And it's just funny to me how the UK media think. And honestly, I'm not even going to go down that road. I'm not going to read you what these people wrote because it's just complete BS. But instead, let's see how um, Colombians have reacted to this. And it seems like they have reacted the same way that Nigerians did. They are not going to let the UK media paint their country as though it's this very unsafe place. Because it's not. So one person whom I believe is from Colombia said that Colombia is not a perfect country. But the Pablo Escobar times are long behind us. We've hosted many royals and high-profile figures in the last decade without any problem. The racist British press is ruining the UK global image by insulting every country and Harry and Meghan visit. This is very correct. I know the UK press would love to think that they are tarnishing the name of Colombia or just trying to sabotage Harry and Meghan, um, Harry and Meghan's visit to Colombia, but that is not actually the case. The only thing they are doing is ruining the UK global image. 
because everyone can now see how vile the UK media is. Everyone can see how they attack individuals just because uh, they are probably being instructed by the palace. And this is actually very ugly for the UK media in case they haven't noticed. Remember also before the Harry and Meghan Nigerian trip, also during the trip and after the trip, the media was saying, uh, well, the UK media was saying how that country is not safe. But look how well the Nigerian trip turned out. And the Nigerians themselves pushed back on the UK media's lies. They lie so much and they actually don't know any boundaries. And this is exactly how everyone should react whenever the UK media try to attack them. Because we all know this isn't about uh, that country. It's not about Nigeria. It's not about Colombia. It's basically because the UK media just want to attack Harry and Meghan. And they clearly want to ruin every other trip that Harry and Meghan are planning. Or just any plan that Harry and Meghan have for that matter. And apparently, Sophie visited Colombia last year, but I didn't hear anything about um, Colombia being unsafe as they are saying right now. So these people just say these kind of things whenever it's Harry and Meghan visiting a place. And we know the agenda, we know the aim of these people. And one person even said, concern trolling about the safety of countries won't work this time. If a trip to Colombia was good enough for the UK government and Sofiesta, then it's good enough for Harry and Meghan. And let's not forget Chuck, Brenda and Phil's, uh, and Phil's tour of Nigeria. Very true. But I myself didn't even know, uh, I didn't even know that Sophie had actually traveled to Colombia during uh, December of last year. These other royals don't attract as much attention, nor is their work very visible. So you can't really know uh, whenever they're visiting a place. And when Harry and Meghan visit, you'll definitely see the headlines rolling. And that is why the royal family and the UK media are mad because they don't want this for Harry and Meghan. They don't like how they're loved by so many countries. And one thing they should know is that they can never stop other countries from loving the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. If the smear campaign has worked in the UK, it's not going to work in other countries. And then another person was like, how dare Harry and Meghan go to Colombia but feel that the UK is too unsafe for Meghan? The answer is easy. The Colombian press is not intent on harming the Duchess and their vice president will ensure the Sussexes receive adequate security. Exactly. We all know this is about the UK press and how unsafe the UK is. So no matter how much they cry about uh, them being rejected by Harry and Meghan, it all boils down to security. And no other country is unsafe for the Sussexes more than the UK. So really, how dare the UK media talk about security issues for the Sussexes when the UK itself is the most unsafe, uh, unsafe place for the Sussexes? Like, it doesn't make sense. Any other place is good for them except the UK. So they can visit any other country. So many countries are going to invite them and they will go, but not the UK. And these people will remain being uh, very bitter and very jealous about everything that the Sussexes do and them choosing so many other places uh, apart from that country, that country that they left behind uh, four years ago. So that is just what I wanted to share with you for today. You can kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about this. And then I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing time. Bye.